Hello, this is Patrick with Tesla Trip, and we've got a new update to the Teslas. And they finally enabled the side view cameras when you're backing up. So this is really cool. As you can see, not only do we have our normal backup camera, but we also have our side camera here. We also have our blind spot cameras. So you can see normally where you can't, like I'm backing up in my normal rear view mirror, I can't see the trailer to the side of me, but I can see it in the blind spot. I can also see it like directly here, but I cannot see it in my side mirror. So this is really cool. What I can't see in the side mirror, I can see in the blind spot cameras. We got all kinds of cool stuff in this update. So this new update is version 10.2. It's the 2020.24.6.1 build. So this is the, the backup camera improvements that I'm talking about. You can now stream live video from your side repeater cameras for added visibility around the vehicle. The update to the traffic light and stop sign control. So now you no longer required for confirmation pulling the autopilot stock to continue through an intersection for a green traffic light if there is a lead vehicle ahead of you. We'll test this out here. That's just too cool. So I have cruise control on because I don't have the ability to do autopilot on this particular road because it doesn't have lines. It says that we've got a stop sign coming up and it stops like it should. Um, I pull the stock and it proceeds through the stop sign. Now I have to try and find a lead car <laughs> so I can go through a intersection with a green light and a lead car. This only works on Teslas with the full self-driving computer, which they're doing massive updates to. My old car, which my mom um, purchased from me, which had Autopilot 2.0 in the old MCU-1, was just upgraded successfully, and it seems to work great even with the old MCU-1. So there's no um, reason you have to buy that unless you want to get the improved map displays and the video games that aren't available on the MCU-1. All right, we got ourselves a lead car. All right, we're going the speed limit. It looks like we're still limited to exactly the speed limit. You can't even go one mile over. You are able to still see the repeater cameras for your blind spots, even while driving, which is pretty cool. Um, it looks like it did not proceed through the green with the lead car because they are going too fast. <laughs> if I catch up to them real quick, I can get through the next one. We're gonna go through, yep, it's green. So you have to be within a certain number of car lengths behind the lead car in order for you to proceed through the green light. In this case, it worked because I was close enough, but nobody goes 30 miles an hour on this road. <laughs> they, they all go a few miles over and it didn't work the first time because I was so far behind. So now we're stopping behind the lead car where the light is red. The line is red. So that's cool. The, the line indicates the color of the traffic control. So it's showing that we have to stop here because the light's red. The stop line is red. We'll see if it picks up automatically when the car in front of us decides to go through the green. All right, the light turned green. It does not. So I had to hit the stock in order to pick up. We got a red line. Oh, it's green, but we're in a turning lane, so Teslas don't know how to do that yet. <laughs> so this is really exciting. It's another little step towards full self-driving on the Teslas. July 1st, which is just next week, is coming up rapidly, and they're gonna be increasing the price of full self-driving by $1,000 right now, they're allowing you to get auto, regular autopilot, I believe for $2,000 if you never had it. And yeah, it's uh, it's pretty interesting. Elon was on Twitter last night and he was saying that he was sorry for the delays and rescheduling of some deliveries. And he th was thanking the rail and drivers for literally going and figuratively going the extra mile to try and get people their Teslas before you know the end of the quarter. 
And it's going to be interesting with the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, they were delayed on building cars for a, a while because obviously they couldn't have any workers during the initial shutdown period and they weren't able to make as much as they normally do. And the demand is going higher than it normally is. So it's actually really hard to get a Tesla right now. But if you are thinking of getting one, put in your order right away because it'll, you won't have to wait as long. <laughs> Jay Leno put out a half hour review on the Model Y and he had some pretty good things to say about it. Uh, I finally got a test drive a Model Y when I got the full self-driving upgrade done to my wife's car and my mom's car. And it's a pretty cool little car. I mean, it's exactly what I kind of thought it was. It's basically a bigger version of the Model 3. It feels a little bit more like the X in driving. It's like it's like a cross between the two. It's like, uh, kind of like how the S is a smaller version, or the Model 3 is a smaller version of the Model S. This is like a smaller version of the Model X. Um, but not a whole lot smaller. And it definitely is more roomy than the Model 3. So if you need, if you want to ride up higher or if you are going off road more <laughs> or you need a little more clearance, the Model Y seems to be the way to go. And also that heat pump. I didn't, you know, get to try it because it was warm weather, but apparently it's some kind of uh, new technology that appears to defy the laws of physics, if you ask me. <laughs> because the efficiency is more than 100%. But I wanna know how it really works in sub-zero temperature because I had a heat pump at my office and basically once it actually got below freezing, it was pretty much useless. But, you know, then it would, still wouldn't be any worse than a normal Tesla's heater because the heat pump's just kind of an additional thing. But most of the year, um, depending on where you live, it would actually be a benefit when it's not like super duper cold. I would think, but I don't know, maybe, maybe because it's enclosed and it's got additional heat from the drivetrain that that heat pump makes things just that much better. We won't really know, I guess, until next winter hits because they're just starting to really ramp up uh, Model Y delivery. There has been a lot of complaints about um, the build quality on the Model Y and there's been a few people that have refused delivery that I know of. You know, even my Model X that I got in December has a couple tiny little things and they're not that noticeable, but they, you know, Tesla will fix them. It just, you know, requires a service appointment. Um, unfortunately, I guess it's just part of being a Tesla owner. And I think a lot of these issues are on other cars, but people just don't notice them or care because they're just a car. And a Tesla to people is like, you know, they love the Teslas. Uh, you know, a Tesla owner is like, oh, this is my Tesla. And they, you know, they, they wash it and they look at every little thing and like, oh, it looks like, you know, there's a gap that's slightly bigger than on one side than the other on the line, which you don't notice if you're more than, you know, a couple feet away from the car. But when you get that close, you're like, oh. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in our Tesla rings that my wife makes, they do work on the Model Y. Uh, they're about a hundred bucks and she is finally caught up on making all the back orders right now. So they, she can get them out in just a couple weeks as opposed to a couple months is what it was for a little while there. We'll talk to you guys later. Thanks, bye. Rally Tesla. Yeah, this is the Tesla Model S, or no, this is the Tesla Model 3 Performance Edition with track mode enabled with the drifting profile on. On a dirt track. On a dirt track. Wyoming. <laughs> Welcome to Wyoming. Oh man, that's hard to do. <laughs>
like that. Oh, that sounded horrible. Rocks on the glass roof. <laughs> Okay, it's 